Because helium balloons start deflating as soon as they're blown up, most people wait to the last minute before a party to inflate them so they last as long as possible. The problem with that is, is there's always a million other things that need doing right before a party. This video experiment will find out how far in advance of a party helium balloons can be inflated and still look good through the entire life of the party. The balloon on the far left is a normal 6 inch balloon inflated with helium. We'll now evoke the magic of time lapse photography to see how long it'll last. Okay, it floated pretty good for 11 hours. Three hours after that, it was pretty much dead. What this suggests is if the party is going to last, say, six hours long, balloons can start being inflated about five hours ahead of the start of the party, which is pretty good. But if the party is going to last a long time, or you want to do hundreds of balloons, it would be nice to have even more time to get ready. This can be achieved by treating the balloons so the helium doesn't leak out as fast. For example, one technique I've heard of is spraying the outside of the balloon with hairspray. The stiffer the better. The balloon on the far right was sprayed with a hairspray I borrowed from my wife, which was rated as 4 out of 5 stars in terms of stiffness. Let's see how it lasts. It didn't even add two hours, so it's not a very effective technique. The next thing we're going to try is a product called Ultra High Float. This is a clear, thick, viscous liquid, which for a 9-inch balloon, you inject about a cubic centimeter into the balloon, massage it around to coat the inside, and then you inflate your balloon. What it's supposed to do is seal up the microscopic pores and the spaces between the molecules of the latex rubber in the balloon so that the helium can't leak out. I used it to treat the remaining floating balloon on the left. I noticed that it appeared to be structurally identical to a very common product, and that is Elmer's Clear School Glue, which you can get from almost any store. So I used some of this Elmer's to treat the remaining floating balloon on the right using the same amount of liquid. Oh, and by the way, all of the balloons used in this test came out of the same package, so they're as close to the same as possible. I was also careful to inflate them to the same amount of pressure using a circular gauge so that they were all inflated to the same diameter. And here we go. Let's speed things up to five hours per second. Okay, the Elmer's filled balloon on the right lasted 78 hours. That's three days and six hours, which is pretty good for something you can just buy almost anywhere. Now let's see how much better the Ultra High Float is. Wow! The Ultra High Float Balloon lasted 174 hours before it started to droop. That's a little over 7 days. So it really works. Now most people aren't going to need a balloon to last this long. But if you're doing a big commercial venture where you've got this big rainbow of balloons and uh, it's going to take several days to inflate and then you have to transport it to the venue, Knowing that the Ultra High Float will last you seven days could be a useful piece of information. For the rest of us, knowing that we have a preparation that's not too expensive that we can use to inflate balloons several days ahead of uh, the party takes a lot of pressure off that last day. Well, the Elmers work pretty good. It's really messy to use because it has such a, a short nozzle. The High float is more expensive, but it comes with an injector tube that's really long and it lets you get it down into the bottom of the balloon so you can uh, treat the balloon with very little mess. So I recommend getting some of the high float. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting, and as always, thank you for watching. 
For hundreds of more articles covering everything from how to make chocolate to the strange world of lucid dreaming, I hope you'll visit my main website, waynesthisandthat.com.